vegans love pumping themselves up with whatever bullshit they can get their hands on that makes them look good. It really is just a massive circle jerk of lies and misinformation uh, to push the vegan agenda. If you're wondering what vegan agenda, there are obvious benefits ranging from high profit margins, new world order goals, and of course, the cute, cuddly animal lovers. Oink, oink. There are three notable athletes who have gone vegan and suffered injuries relatively recently with self-admitted and observable negative performance that all seem to happen once they stopped eating meat. First, we have Novak Djokovic, the number one current tennis player who just beat former champion Roger Federer in the longest final games in history. So literally, the top of his sport. The Serbian-born athlete adopted a plant-based diet for health reasons several years ago and credits his animal-free diet for boosting his performance on the court. I do eat plant-based. I don't like the labels, to be honest. Djokovic explained his preference to not call himself vegan during a recent conference. But because of the misinterpretations of labels and misuse of labels, I just don't like that kind of name. I do eat plant-based. I think that's one of the reasons why I recover well. I don't have allergies that I used to have anymore, and I like it. From world race car champion Lewis Hamilton to NBA star Kyrie Irving, elite athletes across a variety of sports have adopted a plant-based diet to optimize their performance. You know what's really funny? Look up any celebrity's diet and I can guarantee you it will say they are a vegan. It's comical how propaganda this clear is being ignored, especially by the vegans themselves. There's so much push behind a vegan diet, yet they're pretending like there isn't. But was Novak Djokovic actually vegan? He received a lot of criticism after he went vegan. Not because of the diet, but because of a drop in performance and motivation. A former coach stated that when Novak stopped eating meat, he completely emptied his physical reserves and was actually meditating more than he was playing tennis. Well, we hope that something good will come out of this because Novak really needs something that will wake him up from this fall he's experiencing lately. And if eating meat will get him to the top, where he belongs, again, we say, how much of it do you need? We are here for you. It's not clear when Novak started the vegan diet, when he stopped, or even if he was a vegan at all. But hey, this fits in perfectly with all of the other vegans. They constantly cheat on the diet with animal foods, and they still claim to be vegans until they're caught, if they're caught, eating meat. Our second athlete is F1 champion Lewis Hamilton the most popular name in formula racing right now. He claims to have started following a plant-based diet in 2017. Things seemed good and well for a period of time, just like it does for all vegans, as iron anemia and vitamin B12 deficiencies take several months to a year to develop. But just the other day, he had one of his worst performances to date, blaming it on an illness. Vegans are known for being sick and lacking energy all the time due to compromised immune systems. Even in the top athletes in the world, these negative effects of a vegan diet happen very quickly. Finally, we have David Hay, a famous professional boxer. He converted to veganism in 2014 and, like most professional athletes, has had his fair share of injuries throughout his career. But ever since going vegan, he has been unable to recover from these injuries. Uh, towards the end of 2013, he had shoulder surgery and didn't fight again until early 2016. If you take a look at David Hayes' Wikipedia page, it describes him as if he's been falling apart for the past few years. He had a final fight planned in 2017, but he had to pull out because of a shoulder injury that occurred during a training session. 
The fight ended up happening in May of the next year, and Hay injured his ankle very early on in the fight, eventually causing the fight to be stopped. Shortly after this, Hay announced his retirement, speaking about his career, all of the injuries he suffered, even revealing he had a spinal surgery in March of 2015, which is coincidentally shortly after he went vegan. It's become very clear these vegan athletes built their professional skills on a meat-based diet, then they go vegan, leading to them getting injured during training or play, and then they are unable to recover from these injuries because a vegan diet does not contain the vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids that you need to build your body. And they will only return to their original state or near their original state of performance once they start incorporating animal foods once again. It's so obvious and the fact that they're pushing you know, this movie, The Game Changers, and all of these athletes are saying how good a vegan diet is, the opposite is what is actually happening when you look at the evidence. This all ties back to my message of the importance of high quality animal foods in our diet. Uh, just because you're following a ketogenic diet, a carnivore diet, a paleo diet, it doesn't matter what diet you're following. If you don't have high quality, nutrient dense, wild caught, pasture raised, 100% grass fed and grass finished animal foods in your diet, you will not be an optimal version of yourself. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, uh, definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We've recently added Wagyu beef as well as 100% grass-fed prime marbled ribeye steaks. Uh, you can also check out uh, some organ meats we've added recently. I have a new tooth powder formula on Frankie's Naturals. Uh, we just added magnesium as well as a root that helps uh, remineralize your teeth. Uh, so check out frankiesnaturals.com if you want to look at that. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.